Hey there guys and gals, and welcome to Let's Play Fatigue, the pre-alpha demo. Um, this is supposed to be sort of a mystery horror type game, um, inspired by old school horror games. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else there is to say about it. Um, if I remember correctly, it aims to create an atmosphere and tell it tell its story through the atmosphere as well. Oh. Excuse the hell out of me. New game. This game is currently on pre-alpha stage. Some of the features or content may still change. Obviously. And... Uh, interestingly enough, this, ga this uh, game is currently on hold in development. Okay. I'm finally here. Ugh. Damn, my eyes feel heavy. And I'm hungry as hell. Long drive really took its toll. I should eat, then head straight to bed. Okay. Press X to view your stats. Caution, viewing status causes your character to worry and raises the stress level. It's like the fucking Sims. Okay. What is my controls? B is to run. Interesting. What's this? I'm hitting A and nothing's happening. Oh yeah, it's recommended that you use a gamepad for this. Oh, there we go. to room 105. Dear Mr. John Fo Dear John Foley, welcome and thank you for choosing Pine Lake Inn as your ho host during your stay at the beautiful town of Pine Lake. Oh Jesus Christ, it's hard to read this. <laughs> it's in windowed mode. Here is the key to your room. Your room is number 105. You'll find it on the first floor at the end of the hallway on the right. Feel free to eat at the buffet at any hour. It's free for all hotel guests. We hope that you have a pleasant stay. Laura Abru, Guest Service Manager. Okay. Just a welcome letter as a reception? Well, it doesn't really matter. Hen, use the back. Oh, go. Okay, so there's your key. What's the miscellaneous? We got coins, a newspaper. October 28th, 2015, Pine News. Famous rock star found dead in the local hotel. Bass player of a well-known rock band, Nail Gun Rampage, Laurie Harper has been found dead in Hotel La Pine Lake Inn. Was that not, like, put together in the other memo? Anyway. The body was discovered by a guest who found Harper laying on the couch in the hotel's lounge. I'm pretty sure there should be an apostrophe in there. When trying to wake him up, he soon discovered Harper wasn't breathing. Lead singer of Nailgun Rampage, Ben Will- Yeah, Rampage. Ben Williams commented tragic event on- Commented tragic event on his Facebook page. Okay. I can't think of anything that could have caused this. I can't believe Laurie is gone. We lost a band member and a friend, and we will miss him a great deal. Police don't suspect a crime was involved uh, in the death of 28-year-old Harper. He was two years younger than me. I heard he was the one. He, I heard he was one of those straight-edge rockers. No drugs. No alcohol. No tobacco. Okay, so he wasn't much of a rocker. Buffet, 24-7. Okay. Might as well go eat. Uh, sure, large, why not? Ooh, I like the music. Hunger satisfied. Alright. Ooh. 
What's up with the trippiness? Um, according to the story I read in the uh, game's bio, I believe this guy was laid off because of mental instability. The door is locked. It's shut tight with a lock and chain. Nice. Ah, okay, so this is American. This is the first floor. 101, 102, 103, 104. This 105? Yeah. Keys. This one? Oh. Oh, you equip it. That's interesting. What's up with the clock? Where is the clock? Oh, excuse me for going to the wrong side of the bed. Now what? I am not going to try and pronounce that name. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm going to butcher it. Oh, it is supposed to be one word. Fine Lake and Hotel. Fatigue. Where am I? You don't remember? Uh, yeah. At the hotel. How long was I asleep? Is it still night? Well rested. Nice to know. Ooh, saving. Cool. Let's go and see if we can go investigate then. Ooh, spoopy hallways. Long spoopy hallway. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you? This must be Larry. Why do you keep on walking into him? <laughs> they must have just moved the body onto the floor, I guess. Funny. Didn't get the impression he died violently. Violently. Uh, no book. October 18th, 2015. Pine News. Your Dr. Q and A. On this column, Dr. Mers Jones. Oh, Dr. Myra Jones. <laughs> duh. Answers all the health related questions that puzzle our readers. Question. What do you do? What to do if your child swallows something poisonous? There shouldn't be an E in swallows. Answer, you should contact the poison control center immediately. If your child is unconscious, having trouble breathing or having seizures, first call 911. If you are in a situation where you, from one reason or another, cannot use a phone, you should try to get your child to throw up. Syrup or... Epecic? Epesic? I don't know. Are good ways to handle it. Gently. Nice to know. What's this? Key number 111. That would be for the other hallway, which is chained off, right? It's just a TV. I doubt it works. Okay. Some books. I can't focus on reading it right now. Okay. No? Okay, I thought there might have been something in there, but... Okay. He died in the couch, right? Nothing? Okay. Anything else about the body? Stop fucking kicking him. That's terrible. Uh, anything in here? I can't make out anything he's saying. Okay, turn that off. This is still locked, right? Yeah. Hand hygiene, hunger, energy, that's all fine. It's locked. Locked. Okay. Locked. 
Locked. A cart full of luggage. Okay. Nothing interesting in it. Right. What the fuck is that breathing? It's kind of getting annoying a little bit. There was another car of luggage. Is there like bolt carters or something I can get? Because if I'm right, these only go to 106. Car full of luggage. Yeah, it only goes down to 106. Where did I put that key again? Uh, in your inventory? Is there something else in this room I could use? Oh, hello. There's a ensuite. Cool. Wash your hands like a good boy. Get rid of toxins, vomit? Ew, no. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. I didn't mean to do that. Wash your hands again. <laughs> Hygiene, it's very important. Um, I'm sort of confused as to what to do right now. TV, doubt it still works. Great. Can't can't interact with the window, okay. This phone is completely dead. Wait, what? That I should be an E. And I'm pretty sure that E shouldn't be in there. Just, you know, just to help you out a little bit. I can tell the, or at least I'm gonna guess, the English isn't the dev's first language. So, you know. Just a little helpful couple of hints to help them. I really like this game. It's interesting to say the least. I still say I probably need like bolt cutters or something. Oh, this is fun. It's dark as hell. Yeah, no, okay. Nah. Let's go investigate somewhere else first. It's a horrible weather outside. I couldn't leave even if I wanted. No, don't say that. I hate it when that happens. Whoa, okay, what's wrong? Hunger. Okay. Then why don't we eat something? Large portion, sure. Although I feel like that has a negative impact on the energy. So... If it does, we'll go back to the bed. Just... Hunger satisfied. Oh. Mm, no, I'm okay. Wait, what did that say? I think I caught a cold. It might be some infection too. Great. Just great. Bar. It's the latest number in the p of the Pine News. There's nothing interesting on the headline. What's up with the bar? Guess this door leads to the kitchen. Why is it blocked? Who knows? I know I don't. All right, what's that? It's a poster. Tick is a silent killer. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, no thank you. I am good. Okay, I've investigated everything but that creepy hallway. Am I okay? The energy... <laughs> What the fuck was that? Was that him? Okay. Let's go back to the room. Hopefully we can get rid of whatever that is that he has. Come on, guy. Come on. Where did I put that key again? Right. Forgot. 
All right. Here you go, guys. Sleep some more. Hopefully you'll feel better. It doesn't look like it. It looks like he's still ill. I feel okay. Oh, no. Okay. Let's go then. Um, so yeah, what about this? That is still blocked. I feel like I need to go into that dark hallway. But I don't... Do I have like a flashlight or something? Miscellaneous. What's that? Dear John, I hope you understand the position I'm at. It is no question of how you've done your job in the past. I myself have no complaints about that. I don't think anyone has. But even though... Even tough... I like you. There should be a T... There should be TH, not T. Even though I like you and respect you both as a colleague and as a friend, I cannot deny the fact that you have become a burden to the investigations. That's why I'm going to have to let you go. I know you are going through a rough time, but I can't just dismiss my duties. I really hope you understand. P.S. I think you... I think now would be a great time to make that trip you've been planning for so long. There should be two ends in planning. Well, three. Two in the middle. Regards, Robert Anderson, your friend. I really don't know what to make of this. I guess he thinks he's doing the right thing. Still, it really makes my blood boil. Can I, like, take a lamp or something? Some magazines, nothing particularly interesting. Great. This guy in the cover kind of looks like my brother. I wonder how he has been. I should be in touch with him more. Okay. Can I not get, like, a flashlight? Reception desk. Give me a flashlight. Give me a flashlight from somewhere, at least. Does he not have a phone or something? <laughs> like, I need a light. What's this? What the fuck? Did he just do something? Okay. Oh, hello. What's this? It's a poster. Always wash your hands before eating. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. I get the feeling that there is something about that dark hallway. And I am just putting off the inevitable. Okay. Is there not, like, a light switch, though? Poster, always wash your hands. Oh, it's getting redder. Nice. Oh, hello. What's this place? What the hell? Some medical flyers. Lyme disease and multiple sclerosis, HIV and AIDS. Oh, sure, HIV and AIDS. What are the symptoms of HIV and AIDS? Soon after the infection with HIV, some people have flu-like symptoms such as fever, headache, or rash. The symptoms may come and go for a month or two months after infection. After this... After this earliest stage of HIV infection, HIV continues to multiply at very low levels. More severe symptoms of HIV infection, such as chronic diarrhea, rapid weight loss, and other signs of opportunistic infections generally don't appear for many years. Without treatment, HIV can advance to AIDS. The time it takes for HIV to advance to AIDS varies, but it can take about 10 years or so. Blood tests are the most common way to diagnose HIV. Early testing is crucial. Okay. How does that help me? Anything else? Lyme disease? 
Why is Lyme disease? Lyme disease is a bacterial infection primarily transmitted by ticks. Lyme, Lyme is called the Great Imitator because its symptoms mimic many other diseases. It can affect any organ of the body, including the brain nervous, and nervous system, muscles and joints, and the heart. Patients with Lyme disease are frequently misdiagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome, fibrio, fibromyalgia, Myalgia, Jesus Christ, I butchered that. Multiple sclerosis and various psychiatric illnesses, including depression. Misdiagnosis with these other diseases may delay the correct diagnosis and treatment as the underlying infection progresses unchecked. There are no conclusive tests for Lyme disease currently. That, I feel, relates to our protagonist. Oh, great. Mellow Out Stress Kills, article by cardiologist Dr. Franklin Weis Weismir? Weismir? I don't know. In the, age of, in the age of 32, my mother died from a massive heart attack. I'm going to guess that means at. I remember asking my father what had caused her death. He told me that she had a call from the, br from the bank. That brought that brought her great distress. A few moments after the call, she started sweating, cold sweat, and feeling nauseous. She then fell down to the floor. Acute stress is the leading cause of sudden death, especially in young and healthy people. Stress can abruptly end life by rupturing unstable plaque, by rupturing unstable plaque in a vital vessel or by triggering a lethal disturbance in the heart rhythm. Key to a good quality of life is the ability to adapt well to stressors. If you don't adapt, stress will surely kill you. Don't worry too much. Whether it's about your health, job, or anything, trust that everything will work out fine and always remember to laugh as much as possible. Or laugh. <laughs> There should be no tea and laugh. Some magazines. Okay, so these were all helpful tips. Great bathroom. Okay, wash your hands. Yeah, Lyme disease. At least I'm gonna guess that it has Lyme disease. Like, it seems that way. From what they're getting at, anyway. It's locked. So, what about this? This makes no sense. I need coins if I want anything out of that. What? What did I just find? Oh. Okay. Paging number one. Or calling patient number one or whatever. I feel like this is going on for too long, so... If this doesn't move on in the next couple of seconds, I might stop it here. Which I feel like I should. It's locked. Okay, no, yeah, sure, um, I'm gonna stop it here because the video is going on for way too long. Um, so yeah, this was Fatigue, the pre-alpha demo. Uh, I'm sad I wasn't able to finish all of the demo, but it does f feel like it would be a very interesting game. It's got some very interesting ideas and some well-implemented features, and I would like to see a full game of this, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed Fatigue, the pre-alpha demo, if you want to play and see if you get further than what I did, then uh, the link will be in the description uh, to the itch.io page where you can download it for free. So yeah, stay tuned for my next video, I'm not sure what it will be, but hopefully it will be a good one. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching, peace out, bye!